Jai Gurudev children stay safe and be at home wash your hands regularly yes good morning children i am your computer teacher now you all came to second standard right yes today i am going to teach you a new lesson in computer science shall we go to our lesson welcome to class 2 my dear children yes first we are going to recall the parts of a computer okay let's see the parts of a computer see this is a monitor okay monitor cpu and this is keyboard mouse speakers printer and this is a mic okay mic also has a speaker so these are all the parts of a computer now what you are going to do is you are going to write all these parts five times in your rough notes and you are going to recall it back okay now to our lesson 1 see our lesson 1 is the computers you are going to learn about the computers see first here we have four topics about computers computer versus man tasks we do with the computer different types of computer first about computers yes we all know that computer is a smart machine right yes it's very smart we can do any work using computer and it makes our work very easy the next one is it is used in shops offices schools banks colleges hospitals supermarkets etc so many places moreover all places we need a computer to access and make our work more easily next one computers have become an important part of life right yes computer runs on electricity so what we need to run a computer we need a electricity the next we are going to see is features of a computer very first is it works very fast the most important thing is computer works very fast and it works continuously right it goes on working the only one thing is it should be connected to electricity and the power should be on all the time the next one is the results are very accurate okay computer does not make any mistake the results will be very accurate it can do many tasks at the same time yes but for us it is very hard to do more than one task at the same time but for a computer it can do many tasks at the same time and the last one is it never gets tired and bored so whatever the work the computer is doing it never gets tired and bored the same work it can do many times so it is not bored at all our second is computer versus man here we are going to see what computer will do and what man can do first one it works very fast we all know that computer works very fast but man take long time to do some work right we need some time to do a work the next one is it never makes mistakes but man can make mistakes at any time or at some time it can store lot of information in it so computer stores lot of information in it but man can store only little information he can remember only little things so man cannot remember many things the last one is it can do more than one task at a time but man cannot perform more than one task at a time okay yes here there are some things that man can do but a computer cannot do okay now let's see that a man can create new ideas and invent many things so here what uh, we are going to see is man can create new ideas you think that computer can create new ideas no never a computer cannot create new ideas it only works on the commands they are fed in it okay we humans have to feed the commands inside the computer and it follows our instructions a man 
takes its own decision but a computer cannot work on its own and take its own decisions it needs the help of somebody to give instructions so these are the two things that computer cannot do it cannot think creatively and it cannot take its own decisions yes the next part is tasks we do with a computer it helps us to write a letter draw pictures listen to music watch movies play games chat with friends find information share information with others and so many things we can do with the help of a computer now finally we are going to see the different types of computer yes the first one is desktop computer laptop notebook tablet smartphone okay these are the five types of computer now let's see one by one now first comes desktop computer see this is a picture of a desktop computer it is big in size okay it's kept on a desk and so it's it is called as desktop computer it is also called as personal computer the second comes laptop so this laptop will be familiar to you all no yes your fathers will be using in offices and he will be bringing it to home also no so you all have seen this laptop it is small in size very lightweight so it is kept on our laps and so it is called as laptop it works on a battery so we need a battery which is fed kept inside this laptop okay the second come notebook see this notebook also looks like a laptop but it is smaller than a laptop also called as mini notebook it is less powerful than a laptop the fourth one is tablet okay it is also called a small computer small in size we can use by touching it or by using a special pen called as stylus have a look here so this is called as stylus okay and the last one comes smartphones so you know that smartphones are also called as mobile phones it is very small in size very lightweight and it can be kept in our pockets also so all all are using the smartphones nowadays no yes so children we have seen all the five types of computers now whatever we have seen here these are very important things you have to remember right so thank you children for listening okay you kindly go through the points have a reading practice on this lesson thank you children